नमस्ते स्टूडेंट यर वी वै वन थियरम बेस्ड ऑन योर फंडामेंटल थियरम ऑफ अर्थमेटिक लेट्स सी यर इफ पी बी अ प्राइम नंबर दैट मीन्स पी इज अ प्राइम नंबर एंड ए बी एनी पॉजिटिव इन टीचर इफ पी डिवाइड्स ए स्क्वायर देन पी डिवाइड्स ए सो लेट्स सी लिटल बिट सिंबल एंड द नोटेशन एंड देन विल प्रोसीड यर पी डिवाइड्स ए स्क्वायर दिस सिंबल मीन्स Three divide, you can think like as a twenty-four. That means when we take three and twenty-four, this keep remainder zero. Please do not mix with p by a square like that. This is not same as p divides a square. Both are different. Okay, please do not take it as same. Very much important. Now <clears throat> we need to take p as a prime number. So let's start with the letter. Let a equals to p one, p two into is there, p three, dot dot dot, p n, be a prime factorization. Prime factorization form of a, where remember there is a into symbol. These are into p one into p two into p three. Like if I take forty. Twenty-four, and then I can make a prime factorization form of twenty-four is two into two into two into three. So this is your p one, p two, p three, p four. Here you can see that p one, p two, p p three are not uh, not exactly distinct. They may same here also. Okay. So where p one, p two, p three, dot dot p n are primes, and here we'll mention not necessary. Not necessarily distinct. That means it's not compulsory that they should be different, distinct number. Here may be p one, p two, p three equal. So anywhere it may case that p one equals to p three also, p one equals to p five. Anything can happen here. Okay. Now, now we have. A equals to p1 into p2 into p3 dot dot p n. So we can write a square as p1, p2, p3 dot 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 p n whole square. That means p1 square, p2 square, p3 square dot dot p n square. Okay. Since it is given that. P divides a square. P divide a square. It is given. That means P divide P one square. This is P two square into P three square dot dot P n square. Then by fundamental theorem of arithmetic, that means unique. This part of fundamental theorem. That means here a square can be represented only in this form. So this p must be any one of them. Remember here p may be p one. This p may be any p two or p three or any p n. Therefore we can say that. Therefore, by fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem. of arithmetic that p is prime factor p is one of the prime factor one of the prime factor that is p1 p2 p3 dot dot pn any one of them okay This imply p divide p divide what p divide p one into p two into p three into p n. Like if I'll take three as p, okay, and if I'll multiply anything like two into three into five, then definitely whatever number we'll get that is thirty. Thirty must be divided by three. Why? Because there is a three somewhere, 
and this whatever multiplication if you will take bigger number also no problem but there's a 3 and if you will take 3 denominator so it will cancel so here p is any one of them any one of them now if we multiply the whole prime numbers here and it you will get some composite number and this p is any one of it that means if we we'll divide it we will get exactly m and at 0 and here p1 p2 p3 means what this mean a so here if it is then we need to prove this one proved thank you